And there's more to the Grammys. They said Jay-Z was there mocking The Last Supper. So then I go take a look and we see him here. This is the Grammys, ladies and gentlemen. Jay-Z, who also likes to call himself Hove, our Hova. The man thinks he's Jehovah. Also had Beyonce there. I want to thank God for protecting me. Thank you, God. Thanking God, but we don't know what God that is. Because at the end of her speech, she also said this. I'd like to thank the queer community for your love and for inventing this genre. God bless you. She said, I'd like to thank the queer community for your love and inventing the genre. Now look, Beyonce can think who she wants to thank. But like I said on different celebrities, name your God, name who you're talking about. You got a lot of people out here who will get caught up with her saying God, thinking that she's talking about their God. You got a lot of Christians out here thinking that Beyonce's talking about your God. When in actuality, she's the same person who says she wipes her menses with the Holy Scriptures. She's the same person who's married to a man who said Jesus can't save you. So let's not get caught up with somebody thinking God, which is just a title. Name your God. The whole Grammys was just a demonic ritual show. Let's throw it out there. The wickedness in the industry is just continuing to grow more and more. It's manifesting right in front of our face. And even the people who purposely ignore it and choose not to see it, there's coming a point where you're not going to be able to deny it. It's elevating at a rapid pace. And like I've said before, you guys, now is the time to choose a side. You are either with God or you're not. There is no in-betweens. Pick a side.